All right. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Is this thing on? Can you even see those figures? Should I turn the table? Let's turn the uh, let's turn the board. All right, hello, war gamers. Sorry that took so long. We're into two minutes here of dead air, but that's okay because no one's watching anyway. Um, we're just going to try this out, see how this goes, and basically, I think what we'll do is actually go over the strategies for each for each army that have been chosen by dice and or commenters so <clears throat> what we have uh the army of the atlantic which is going to be these 11 these 11 pieces right here they are going to drive up the coast with half crossing the blue ridge mountains who will then turn northeast to screen the drive so what we're going to do is half of these uh, miniatures half of these units are going to drive up here and start attacking these union troops the other half are going to cut through this pass right here i don't know if you can see that uh, right here at lynchburg and then they will attack this way and screen for anyone coming from the west. The Army of the Mississippi is these six units here. They have chosen a defensive posture. They're going to fort up on the rails at Nashville. Nashville is right here. So what that means is in order to get through the mountains more easily, these troops are going to go to Shiloh and get on the train and take that up to Nashville and then they'll disembark there and they will create a fort around <clears throat> Nashville. And then finally, the last five troops on the Confederate side have also chosen an aggressive strategy. They're going to take the rail up to Kentucky, which is here, and support the Army of the Atlantic. So what they'll do is while the Army of the Atlantic is marching north and east, the Army of the West will create a pincher movement moving across the, uh, the Midwest there. For the Union, the Army of the Northeast is going to take uh, an aggressive posture. They're going to gather at Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, which is right here, and then they will their order say to drive south to Louisville, which is here. So they're going to cross this way and drive. I don't know, that's what that's what the direction said. But anyway, that's what they're gonna do. The Army of the Ohio Valley, which will be these six units here, they are going to take a defensive posture and they're going to fort up at Louisville, which is right here. And then finally, we have the Army of the Plains, which are these five units here. And they are also going to take a defensive posture, and they are going to move here and fort up at St. Louis. So that's the plan. It's very simple. And for the movement rules, we're going to roll two dice for each pip on the dice, the various units can move various distances. The infantry pieces can move one square per pip. The cavalry pieces can move two squares per pip. And the artillery can move two squares per pip. 
The Confederacy gets to go first. Those are the basic rules. So we'll go ahead and roll some dice. And that's a six. So we can move six infantry, each one, and we can mix and match with the cavalry. Now, when there is a battle, the cavalry have to be in the front. In addition, in order, in order to attack. So let's go ahead and start working on our battle plan. Let's start with the Army of the Atlantic because they have the most moving to do. They're going to drive up the coast. <clears throat> so we're going to move this cavalry. That's four, so that's two pips. And then we'll move this one too. That's two more pips. And then we'll move this one two more. And so that'll be it for the Confederates. For the Union, they only get to move three. And again, we'll start on this side. We're going to gather at Harrisburg. Harrisburg is here. So let's go ahead and four. So that's two pips and then one pip. All right. So back to the Confederacy. It's going to be five. The Army of the Mississippi is going to fort up at Nashville. So this cavalry unit, one, two, three, four, that's two pips. One, two, that's three pips. I have two pips left. Move them up there. All right. And the Union gets seven. So, Fort up at Louisville. One, two, three, four. One, two. So that's two. Three, four, I've got three left. One, two. All right. And finally, the Army of the West. They only get three. And they are going to Kentucky. They are actually headed for Louisville. So, one, two, three, four. All right, they only got three, so I'll move him up from the end. He's got the furthest to travel. And finally, the Army of the Plains for the Union troops. They have a seven. They're going to St. Louis, which is here. we have gone through the first six turns this is where we stand and looks like no one is watching so that's cool I'm going to go ahead and keep playing I will take a picture of the board after the end of every six turns or as soon as there is um, as soon as there is a, a meeting an encounter between opposing forces so Hope you enjoyed this. I guess I learned how to do this now, so that's cool. And with any luck, it won't take me two minutes to get set up next time, and we can go ahead and kick it right off. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.